Hi, I'm Steve Eunice. Welcome to the Speeding Bulletin, your Superman highlights video, bringing you up to speed on everything that took place in the world of Superman from April 3rd to April 9th, 2019. Our top news stories this week included, we now know if Superman appears in the movie Shazam, Krypton Season 1 is now available on the DC Universe streaming service, and DC Comics announces that those Walmart exclusive comic book stories are coming to comic book stores. Let's check out these news stories and more in this week's Speeding Bulletin. But before we push on, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that bell to receive notifications whenever we post a new video. In movie news, there's been a lot of speculation leading up to the release of the movie Shazam regarding whether we'd see a cameo by Superman. Superman homepage writer Scotty V has posted an article on our website answering that question for you. You should check it out. DJC Films has posted their fan film titled Superman World War online. Superman World War is a feature-length fan film and a passion project. You can watch it at our website right now. In TV news, while there was no new Supergirl episode this week, the CW did release the description for the 18th episode of Season 4. Titled Crime and Punishment, in this episode Kara and Lena head to Stryker's Island to search for clues on how to defeat Lex. At the prison, Kara tries to befriend a nosy prisoner, Steve, who may have insight into what Lex was doing, while Lena studies an array of puzzles Lex left behind in the hopes of discovering his whereabouts. While there, a prison riot breaks out and Kara must find a way to stop the prisoners without revealing her secret identity as Supergirl. This episode is scheduled to air on The CW on Sunday, April 21st. DC posted the following video to announce that Krypton Season 1 is now available to stream via the DC Universe digital service. Someone is coming to destroy Krypton because your grandson becomes Superman. Help me find a way to stop him. Smallville TV star Alison Mack has pleaded guilty in the ongoing court proceedings for her role in the NXIVM sex cult. The actress who played Chloe Sullivan in 10 seasons on Smallville admitted to two federal counts, one count of racketeering conspiracy and one count of racketeering. The trial is set to begin October 1st. If convicted, Mac faces at least 15 years behind bars. In comic book news, fans who haven't been able to find 100-page giant comics at their local Walmart retailer can breathe a sigh of relief, as can fans in other countries, as DC confirmed its plans this week to make available in comic book shops for the first time the original stories that formed the basis for their line of Walmart giant anthology comics. Each story arc comes in the form of a six-issue monthly miniseries featuring two chapters per issue. Look for Superman Up in the Sky number one to be available from July 3rd. Midtown Comics has revealed their exclusive variant cover for the upcoming Deceased number one by artist Inyak Lee. The cover features an image that puts a disturbing spin on the death of Superman scene of Lois Lane holding a deceased Superman in her arms. Deceased number one will be released on Wednesday, May 1st. Comic books we reviewed this week included Adventures of the Super Sons number 9, which was reviewed by Keith Sumra, who said, What a joy this book is to read every month, and he gave it a 5 out of 5. Keith also reviewed Young Justice number 4, giving it a 3 out of 5, saying, Once again, we have another issue that doesn't answer burning questions, but is decompressed to a snail's pace in storytelling. And Justice League number 21 was reviewed by James Lance, who said, This book is full of brilliant interaction between everybody shown throughout this book and he gave this issue a 5 out of 5 score. Superman comic books available this week from April 10th include Supergirl number 29, which is available in a variant cover, Superman number 10, which is also available in a variant cover, Wonder Twins number 3, also available in a variant cover, Adventures of the Super Sons Volume 1 Action Detective Trade Paperback, Death and Return of Superman Omnibus New Edition Hardcover, Elseworlds Superman Volume 2 Trade Paperback, Justice League Aquaman Drowned Earth Hardcover, and Superman's Pal Jimmy Olsen by Jack Kirby Trade Paperback. Drive around with a Superman sticker on your car. Get this Fan Emblem Superman Logo Car Decal for $15. 
And how about this Superman character car decal also available for $15? These and other Superman car stickers are available through the Superman homepage online shopping page at supermanhomepage.com slash shop. In other news, Hallmark.com announced the upcoming release of their DC Comics Christopher Reeve as Superman musical ornament. The dynamic design features Christopher Reeve as Superman preparing to launch into flight as seen in Superman the movie and plays a clip of the triumphant John Williams composition Superman theme. Priced at $19.99 US, the Christopher Reeve Superman musical ornament is scheduled to be released on October 5th. SupermanCelebration.net has announced that Tara Strong, best known to Superman fans as the animated voice of Harley Quinn, will be a special guest at this year's Superman Celebration in Metropolis, Illinois. Scheduled to take place across June 6th to June 9th, you can find out more about the 2019 Superman Celebration at SupermanCelebration.net. Vision Express are now offering kids glasses with DC Comics superhero designs. Featuring the characters Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, The Flash and the Justice League, combining colourful superhero logos and bold character graphics straight off the pages of DC's legendary comics, these high quality frames are hard wearing and more than strong enough for a whole day of non-stop crime fighting. Check out the brand new range of children's glasses designed for any would-be Supergirl or Superboy at visionexpress.com. McDonald's Australia are currently offering Lego Movie 2 toys with their Happy Meals, with a Superman toy amongst those available. Each toy features the face of different characters from the Lego 2 movie and comes with a ring that you can use as a hook. Opening the toy reveals a unique mini game. You can get yours today from your local McDonald's. DC Entertainment has posted a new episode of the DC Superhero Girls online animated shorts. Titled Kara Care, after absorbing too much kryptonite during an epic battle, Supergirl takes advantage of Wonder Woman's nurturing nature. You can watch the full episode at our website. And that's all the news there was for the week April 3rd to April 9th. If you found this video interesting or entertaining in any way, then please leave a thumbs up and a comment below. And don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. Also, if you'd like to support the Superman homepage, then please visit us on patreon.com slash superman homepage. I'm Steve Eunice, I'll see you next week.